YouTube video. I know I haven't done one in a while, so I thought, why not today? And I'm, I just got out the shower, so I'm just going to do a quick video. I haven't even done my hair, and I'm really sorry about that. I'm like very, uh, but um, yeah, I'm going to make a quick YouTube video. Hopefully you guys enjoy it, and yeah, let's get started. So first of all, I already did my makeup. I have my eyebrows already, and my foundation, and my powder. And what I pretty much used for foundation was the Artistry Foundation. It's a balancing. And afterwards, I just um, I just used my Sephora um, powder in medium 25. And I used some blush. And the blush that I used is let me see the on it. It's the NYX, the cinnamon. Um, I had this one before, I know you guys seen it in one of my previous videos, but I ran out of it and I really couldn't find a place where they sold it until recently and I decided to buy it again. And what else? Oh, for my eyebrows, I know that I used to use this other Avon one and now I am using this Italia eyebrow powder. It's, it's made for especially for your eyebrows and this is in number 3. Um, yeah, I like it so far, it's alright. Okay, so, first of all, I'm going to do my eyeliner. And I, I still use the same NYC in black. So, just to do a quickie. Hopefully you guys can see this. So, I usually always start from uh, the inner corner of my eye. work my way out. I'm pretty much used to it, so um, it doesn't take me long to do it, but usually if you're a beginner, especially with liquid eyeliner, it'll probably take you a while to, you know, get a pattern of how you want to do your eyeliner. I haven't done a video in a while and it's I'm really sorry about that guys and I just want to say thank you to the people who have who've been subscribing um, you guys might not know this but I usually go to the people who subscribe I go to their page and I see if they have any videos and I usually look at them you know don't think it's just uh, oh you subscribe to me there you go I won't have nothing to do with you now. I usually just go to your pages. I look at them and I see what you guys are interested in, the videos you guys watched. So there you go. One eye is done. Now let's get started with the other. I think that's because he did. Oh crap. I just got my eyeliner on my face. My uh, I should have let it dry. Número dos. So please guys could see this. I totally need to get a new camera, but I'm a broke woman. Maybe someday in the future. As you guys can see, I usually do my eyeliner or my wing at the end and then I just fill it up. Done. 
Now for the eyeshadow part, I just, I know it might seem silly, but I just recently found out how to do like a very smoky eye, just using one color, and you could use whatever color you want. I'm going to be using a brown just because it matches most of my clothes, and I don't know what I'm going to wear today. So let's just say I'm going to use like a very dark brown, and this is the e.l.f. palette. The ones that they were selling during Christmas for like five dollars. Yeah, I just got it. So yeah, let's try it out. They are very powdery, but if you use like glycerin and you mix it in your brush, they they last very long in your eyelids. But I don't have glycerin right now, so I'm just gonna do this for the sake, or just to do it. So okay, so I'm using like a. This is the brush I'm using. has no numbers just a brush so what I do is I'm just gonna use it on my crease only on my crease and I'm just gonna blend it in blend it outward and it's very fast and simple I mean I just barely learned this trick so it was pretty easy for me so you're just gonna have it in your crease and then you're just gonna blend it outward so just kind of go halfway of your eye. Don't all, don't go all the way to the inner corner. Just halfway, and then blend it outward. And I'm really sorry. I'm using this as my mirror to see what's going on because I'm standing on my window, so I can't see if you guys are watching me or not. So hopefully you guys are watching me or you guys can see this. But yeah, so I'm just blend it in. Blend it in outward, inward. Mm. And you could go as dark as you want. But since it's the daytime and I'm not really going to do anything so exciting today. Instead, go to the library. I'm just going to do a simple brown. So that's all I'm doing. Just blending the eyeshadow outward. Almost to the brow bone. And the thing, the trick is, you really need to take your time blending, blending it. Otherwise, you're just gonna not get the perfect combination. You know, you want it to be dark to light. And if you just go straight to the dark, it's everything's just not gonna look right. I'm going to do the other one. So today is Friday and hopefully you guys all have a wonderful Friday. Of course, today was my day off from school, so I'm enjoying it. Though I have to go do some stuff regarding school-wise, like homework. That's why I'm going to the library. It sucks. sucks because, um, I don't know if you guys know, I'm an English major, so right now I just have English classes and it's kind of tough because you really need to have enough time, you know, in order to do the things that you have to do, so it's very consuming, time consuming, but I enjoy it. I mean, you read some awesome books that you're just like, whoa, you wouldn't have known they existed unless you actually had, like, English classes. I think I need a little bit more brown since this one's a little bit darker than this one. So I'm just going to add a little bit more brown. And like I said, you guys could make it black and make it smoky real smoky for the night, go clubbing or whatever, or just practice with different colors, because different colors will have different effects on your eyes, so, you know, you could always figure out which one looks better on you, I like brown because 
that just looks nice. I'm brown. It matches me. Of course, I'm only using one color. It's not like I don't have like a another color underneath or anything. So I'm pretty sure it would look nice if you have like a nice lighter brown all over your eyelid and then, you know, do the dark eyeshadow on your crease to blend it in and then have a highlight on your brow bone or underneath your eyes, your, eyes, your brow. But I just like using this because it's fast and simple. It gives a little bit of like a bam to my eye, you know, it just makes it pop out. So that's what I use. So that's pretty much all I do. I'm just going to wear mascara on my eyes and curl them so that you guys can see the whole effect because otherwise if you just see it like this, it kind of looks weird. Let me see, I'm just trying to see if it looks nice or not. More blending needs to be done. I'm pretty sure it's done. Okay. I'll probably have to do my eyebrows again because I didn't really give them a shape. But, mascara. This is a... No, it has no name. I bought it at a 99 cent store. I just like the formula, but the brush not so well. It's waterproof and it's like, like it really won't come off unless you wash it off. So, so yeah, just wear mascara, whichever one you wear. What happens when you try to do it fast? Take your time. Otherwise, you'll poke your eyes like I just did. See, I'm not perfect. People think that people who make YouTube videos with makeup or stuff like that are perfect or, you know, they know what they're doing. You know, it's not real. You know, everybody comes from the same spot. They're experimenting until, you know, they have a technique and you know, they know what they're doing afterwards, out, out of practice. It's not something that's just like, oh, you know, I woke up in the morning and I just know how to apply makeup. It's not really like that. Okay, that's good enough. Now to take the mascara out of my eyelid. Sorry, I'm going to use my saliva. Uh, I'm just gonna do my eyebrows for the time because I don't like the shape. And I just got this at Goodwill. It's pretty awesome. I have like all my makeup in there, or at least the ones that I, or the makeup that I think I use most often. So it's uh, hard to find my, and I still use the same eyeliner. I think yeah, this is an eyeliner pencil. I still use this one, pretty much. I bought a new one, but it's pretty soft, so I'm just letting it sit there. This one's pretty stiff already. It's, like, probably four years old. But I like the stiffness because it makes me... I could get the shape that I want easily instead of, like, with the soft one. just remember that I don't have my curler with me so I'm just gonna 
leave it like that. Because I have another one, but that one usually always rips my eyelashes out, and it sucks. So all I'm going to do is just apply mascara on my lower lashes. I'll post some pictures just so that you guys could see the look because maybe you guys can see it with this lighting in my room. It's pretty dark on this camera, it's like somehow weird. It's good for taking pictures, but it's not good for like video recording. It's a Sony Cybershot 14.1 megapixels. But anyways, this is the eye look. Hopefully you guys can see it. probably look awesome with like some fake eyelashes but yeah this is the eyes you guys can't really tell my blush but it's orangey it goes well with my skin tone i say because i'm pretty brown right now summer is coming and the sun is out and i get tanned very easily so it sucks i don't like the sun very much okay so afterwards i'll just apply a quick nude lipstick I suppose and this is in Fox and this is MAC so I'm just gonna apply real quick there we go and that's it that's it folks very fast easy I know it took a while because of my stupid face who got mascara in my eye and blah 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 but yeah this is pretty much it hopefully you guys like it and i'll be making these some more youtube videos soon i'm really sorry i've been taking forever i'm just being a lazy ass pretty much and uploading youtube videos take forever and it kind of sucks but i'll make sure to do more i'm pretty much trying to save up my need to buy more makeup and i'm letting my hair grow that's why i haven't been able to do like a youtube video regarding hairstyles due to the fact that my hair is freaking short since I've cut it, I know you guys posted some comments, I think it was on the how to style your hair with a bandana, and that was the one video that shows the length of my hair, and pretty much it's a little bit long, but it's still short, and it's not trying, it's not growing fast, so I'm kind of sad, I really wanted to grow, so yeah, that's why I haven't been able to make YouTube videos regarding hairstyles, but hopefully I'll get it, or a I'll grow soon, probably like maybe three months or so, I'll be able to make more videos. But for now, I'm just going to try to figure out different techniques with makeup and share them with you guys. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Have fun. Be safe. It's Friday. Enjoy. And I'll hopefully see you guys soon. Bye. Oh, and thank you for subscribing, guys. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>